Hi guys, welcome to another video in my channel. In this video, I will talk about Lambda versions and aliases. We will see a demo on versions and aliases. So let us get started. So first of all, what is a Lambda version? So a Lambda version is exactly what the name suggests. It is a version of the Lambda function. Lambda creates a new version of the function every time you publish the function. The new version is a copy of the unpublished version of the function. The unpublished version is named Lauter Latest. A function version includes the following information. The function code and all associated dependencies. The Lambda runtime identifier and runtime version used by the function. All the function settings including the environment variables. A unique Amazon resource name ARN to identify the specific version of the function. Lambda versions can be used to manage the deployment of your functions. For example, you can publish a new version of your function for testing without affecting the stable production version. Lambda publishes a new version only if the code has never been published or if the code has changed from the last published version. If there is no change, the function version remains at the last published version. So. The unpublished version is named as toddler latest and it is the mutable version of the function. Mutable means we can change the code or environment variables or other configuration. Whereas when we publish a version, then it becomes immutable. So versions are immutable, which means they can't be changed. So let us see a demo. I'm in my AWS console. Let us go to Lambda. In the lambda, let me create a function, demo function, versions, aliases, demo. So the function is being created. It takes some time because in the backend it creates uh, roles and some other configurations it sets up. So we are, our function is now created. So this code that we see here, this is the unpublished uh, version of our code. So this is unpublished, so we can modify this. So let us now create a new version. So let me say this is a new version. So as we said in the last slide that uh, a version can only be published the code can only be published to a new version when it has never been published or it is changed and deployed. So this this version has never been published. So we can directly go here and publish a new version. Now see what it says in the description. Publishing a new version saves a snapshot of the code and the configuration of the latest version. You need to deploy code changes in latest before you can create a new version. So we do not, do not deploy the code changes because we are, it is the first time we are creating the version. So now our version is published, which is version 1. So if we go to versions, we can see we have a new version, which has got this function here. Now let us publish one more version. So if we go to the versions, as we said, this version is immutable, means we cannot change the code of this version, the published version. You can edit only your function code or upload a new zip from an unpublished function page. page. So let us create a new version. This is version 2. So now, before publishing, you need to deploy this. Now publish a new version. So now, version 2 has been published. So if we go to the versions, now we can see we have two versions. So how do we, how do we access these different versions? So to refer to these different versions or using two different versions, 
we can use either qualified ARN or unqualified ARN of the function. So what is a qualified ARN? Qualified ARN is the function ARN with version suffix. For example, this is the version ARN and at the last we have this colon version number. So if we want to access a specific version of a function, we can give the version number at the end. This is known as qualified ARN. And what is unqualified ARN? Unqualified ARN is function ARN without version suffix. So this is the unqualified ORN. When we access the lambda, invoke a lambda function using unqualified ORN, it implicitly invokes the dollar latest version, which is the latest unpublished latest version, which is unpublished. And the qualified ARN for each function version is unique. After we publish a new version, we can't change the ARN of the function code. So, till now we have seen what are different, how to create lambda versions and how to access the versions using qualified ARN and unqualified ARNs. Now, the question is what is the use of uh, a lambda version? So, the use of lambda version can be more understood or more uh, evident when we will see what are lambda aliases. So now let us see what is an alias. A lambda alias is like a pointer to a specific lambda fun function version. We can create more than one aliases. We can access the alias using alias ARN. For example, we can define aliases like dev, test, prod and point them to different lambda versions. And aliases are mutable, unlike the versions which were immutable. As we saw, the different the versions are immutable, but the aliases are mutable. We can change the aliases. We will see it in the demo what it means. So, what is the use case of an alias? Suppose we have a lambda function deployed in production, and we want the new version of the lambda function to be deployed to production as canary deployment. So how can we achieve this? To do the canary deployment, we can assign weights to different function versions using aliases. To achieve this, we can configure the prod alias to route 5% traffic to test alias version and 95% traffic to prod alias version. Once we test that the test alias version is working fine, we can point the prod alias to the test version. So it will make sense when we see a demo of aliases and versions together. So let us now again go to a demo on aliases and versions. So now in this uh, console we can see there is a section for alias. So for this function we can create aliases for different versions. So let us now say we created an alias dev and dev is pointed to the pointing to the latest version now in the aliases we created a new uh, alias which is dev which points to the latest version let's create a second alias which is prod and prod is pointing to version 1 suppose version 1 is the version which is the most stable version deployed in production so now we have two aliases, dev alias and prod alias. Let us now create a third alias which is the test and test points to version 2. Version 2 is the version of the function which we want to test. So we want to do, we want to deploy this version 2 to production. So how we can do this, we go to the alias and to the prod version, we can assign weights. So we say that we want to assign 5% weight to version 2 which is our test version. So whenever this prod version will be invoked, it will redirect 5% traffic to the test version and 95% traffic to the prod version. So in this way we can do canary deployment for our 
uh, new version so for the testing purpose let, let me do it keep it 50 percent so now the prod version to the prod version we have given weight 50 percent weight to version one which is the stable production version and 50 percent weight to the version two which is our test version so now if we go to this function and test it this is version 2 click again lambda which was the production version from lambda this is version 2 hello from lambda so 50 percent traffic goes to the production version and the 50% traffic goes to the test version. So in this way we saw in the code we can test our code, the new version of the code in canary deployment fashion. And once we are satisfied that our uh, changes are working fine, we can point the prod alias to the new version of the function. So go to aliases prod alias and we can then remove the weight and the prod alias can be pointed to version 2 which is now our stable version so now our production is pointing to version 2 which is the stable version of our code so in this way using versions and aliases we can do canary deployments for our lambda functions so this is all in this video about versions and aliases. If you like the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already subscribed. Thank you.